A single bird call broke the silence of the early evening. Then a police siren, distant at first, grew louder and louder. Ellen found herself wishing that the sound had nothing to do with her, that it wasn't that of a police car destined for her house. At the same time, she felt certain that it was. It was only seconds later that a flashing light appeared in the street and the car squealed to a halt. A policeman and policewoman jumped out, slammed the doors and ran down the path to Ellen's house. Ellen couldn't have described them afterwards, but she remembered the policeman's voice, low and urgent. He was talking to Arthur. You've not to get a ticket. I? OK, let's go in. Step back, everyone, please. And the policeman lifted a long battering ram that had been hanging by a strap over his shoulder and rushed at the door. It seemed to give way easily, and Ellen thought fleetingly about the care her mother always took to double-lock the door at night, and how safe she had felt when this was done. No one could reach her then. How mistaken she had been. How fragile it had all been, after all. The policeman pushed through the door, Immediately he stepped out again, just as Ellen moved forward to follow him. There was no time in those moments. Ellen saw the look of horror, as the policeman's face seemed to collapse, heard him shout, Get out! and entered a world that had changed forever.